Okay, this is the problem I'm having. It is an overcurrent issue have been detected on your USB device. System will shut down after 15 seconds to protect your ma main board. This is the problem I'm having with the customer's desktop. Okay, this is the motherboard MSI motherboard and it is having an overcurrent issue with the USB. First thing first, just try to clean these four ports, uh, USB 3.0 and as well as clean these 2.0 ports if any of the pin is damaged inside or attaching uh, to the body this is this is the body this is the ground if any of the pin is attaching together or to the ground then you need to just uh, clear that problem as well as to see if any of the metal object is stuck inside if these are clear then go for go for these connectors these are the front usb connectors just try to remove these uh, these connectors then test the computer if it works fine the problem solve if it doesn't then we are going for the USB IC or to see if any of the IC is making trouble or any of the capacitor or resistor is having an issue we are going to service first and then see if we find the issue inside okay I'm going to start cleaning the IC from here okay just look for the spots like this on the motherboard if it does have any issue these kind of MOSFETs just clean the legs because sometimes this kind of issue I'm just separating these legs of this MOSFET Okay, this one has been cleaned and I had to use the I had to use the soldering iron to really clean it because it was very hard corrosion around these legs and you can find any of the any of the places around the USB connectors these kind of MOSFETs or resistors if they, the legs are joining together just separate them and clear the corrosion and then try to turn on the desktop to see if the problem has been resolved okay, this is the front 3.0 USB connector I just removed this connector the problem did not resolve as soon as I remove this protection from here I will show you which protection it was having okay this was the protection it was having on top here as soon as I remove this one the problem overcurrent issue has been resolved and I tried to remove the protections like these at the back side of the board because I thought that I just removed this connector and the problem should be solved but after removing this connector I tried to remove the protection at the back of the board like these none of them uh, was having issue as soon as I remove this one the overcurrent issue has been resolved I'll show you in a couple of seconds in a normal view that uh, what's the location of this one you can see the protections are everywhere if you see here this one I tried to remove as well because every external connector has got these kind of protections just remove one by one of the USB connectors these are for the display just go for the USB connectors as you can see here these are for the HDMI and then this one here is for the USB just try to remove one by one these of them and then try to turn on the PC and test it if it does work just change that uh, that MOSFET or you can say this is the protection just remove that and replace with the new one it should be fine if it if you do not have that one just remove it and those those USBs will not gonna work anyway anyway those one if you, if those are shorted you just remove the connector and it will be disconnected with the PC okay the computer is on and it is working fine if you see this area here I just removed it and I was worrying about at the back because I just disconnected all the USB connectors and I thought that it is just uh, the connectors are removed and there is no need to check this area I just tried to go for the USBs at the back and I tried to remove the protection one by one at the back side and I was unable to resolve the issue until unless I just at the very end I just removed this protection and as soon as I just removed it the problem solved I'm not going to put this one in, in this another one because I'm I'm 
I'm considering if there is a problem with the connector or any other component, I'm going to waste time on it. I just removed it because only the front 3.0 USB is not going to work. And at the back 3.0 and 2.0 and in the front 2.0 USB 2.0 is working, working fine. Anyway, the problem has been resolved. I will just show you the display. I'm just going to turn on the PC. As you can see, I'm plugging the keyboard and as well as the mouse. display and there is no issue with the with the overpower over current with the USB now you can see the mouse and keyboard is working fine even though I tried to update the BIOS they it did not resolve finally only that protection I had removed to finally solve the problem okay thanks for watching the video